Well, good afternoon from the sled shed. What I'm going to show you today is a 1976 John Deere liquefier, the 340 that I just finished last night. I'll tell you a few things that I did to the sled. It has a brand new uh, seat cover on it. And as you can see, it's got a uh, brand new Midnight Mist Black uh, John Deere paint. Very nice glossy finish. And then it has all brand new graphics along with striping on it. I did repaint the, the skis and put new wear bars on them. They're in nice shape. No wear out on the skis. Has a brand new windshield. I'll come around here. Just a very sharp looking sled. Bumper, there is just a very slight little dent here in the bumper. I could not get it out, but it's it's really not bad. It's very hard to find a bumper on these older sleds that it doesn't have a dent or something, but this one's presentable. Uh, the 76s have all aluminum belly pans, so there is some dents in the belly pan. I mean, I dollied them out pretty good. There was a repair on this corner on the front that was patched, but there's no holes in it, and uh, you can't really see it when the sled is down on the ground. It has all its original markers on it the yellow amber and the red i did put new rear grab handles on it <clears throat> we'll come around back here has a very nice back handle along with the original snow flap on it it does have the john deere uh, cleated track it's 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 in pretty good shape for its age i think it'd be fine I did put a new gas cap on the tank. Uh, as you can see, it has 1,400 miles on it. Has the original heat heat thermometer or the heat gauge in it, which most of the times those are broke or missing, but this one is original. Has a nice tack, good switch along with the John Deere snowmobile keychain. Very nice uh, switches on the kill switch and the dimmer switch. Usually those are bad, but these are good. Has a nice uh, hand, rubber uh, handle guard here, good shape. Just a very attractive looking sled. We're going to open up the inside for you here. Okay, we got the John Deere 340 liquid cooled engine. Has the original belt guard, original air box, which is sometimes missing on them. It is a dual carb. I did clean these carbs. Um, also, I did clean the fuel tank, flush that, and put a new pickup line and filter in it. It has all new blue gas lines in it. I did put in some new springs last night on the exhaust. I'll come around here. <clears throat> it does have a shut off and a new fuel filter in it. This engine was pulled and uh, I put new crank seals in the engine. It has very good compression, starts right up. I did put some new NGK uh, coils, uh, uh, caps on the spark plugs. On this sled I did put in one new coil and I did put a new CDI box in it. So that's one thing. Sometimes these CDI boxes get weak in these deers and they won't start. So this one does have a new one. Um, and has a little tool pouch up here in front, the original. Here's a shot of the hood. The hood has had some repairs. They're always in the 76s broke up here in the front at the hinge area. That's a weak spot in these hoods. They're just a huge hood and heavy. 
So this one has had some repairs, but it's nothing noticeable on the outside of the hood. I'm going to set the camera down. I'm going to do a start up here for you. Let you hear. shut it down it gets a little smoky in here but as you can see it's it starts real good I had to choke it a little bit this morning but she took right off it's probably running a little rich because I do have quite a bit of oil in it uh, in the tank it's better to have them a little run a little richer when you're first running them after they've had some rebuilding done on them as you see here's your your heat gauge all the fluids you check the chain case was checked um, but it's just a just a good sled and I think you'd enjoy it it's hard to find them it's getting it's getting like 34 year 38 years old so it's just hard to find a sled this good a shape thank you from the slide shed